Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 16th, 2019. Only nine days to Christmas, everyone. Keep that in mind as we move forward. We have the market breathing a pretty big sigh of relief on Friday, kind of getting behind it, the FOMC, getting behind it the the phase one trade deal getting behind it the the tariffs that were pulled as a result of the trade deal and we just kind of breathed a sigh of relief reaching up here setting new record highs for the market so let's take a look at what's going on here in the dow as you can see we have a nice upward trend and that doesn't seem to be changing yet although we have this kind of shooting star type pattern up here in the chart that doesn't necessarily mean any Thing until we see some follow through and right now the follow through this morning is showing bullishness you can see we're trying to push higher this morning push on through so let's keep an eye on that and as we push on up one of the things I want to pay attention to let me redraw this put this up I want to keep an eye on this area of support as long as we can hold up in here maybe rest a little bit then I see us having more upside potential if if we start to fail here pull back toward the trend that may be okay we just don't want to see that trend start to give up and with these things out of the way we may actually have set the stage for a little bit of a santa claus rally we'll have to wait and see but a nice little santa claus rally in through the end of the year wouldn't be too big a surprise considering we finally have this little bit of relief in the overall market let's take a look at the moving averages here for a second and when we take a look at those moving averages notice that we are maybe just a little bit stretched out here from our moving averages but nothing excessive and so we may still have that opportunity for some nice steady upside here in the market but one of the things we want to always do is we want to pay attention and we want to be careful about chasing into a gap up open it's easy to get all worked up in the morning and kind of let our emotions get ahead of ourselves and we chase into a gap up open with that shooting star type pattern here um, in the chart we want to watch that pretty closely and just in case we um, happen to see sellers step in here. Now, I don't think the sellers are going to be all that strong if they do step in. But if they do step in, we don't want to get caught in that little bit of a pop and drop either. So kind of be um, thinking about that as you approach the market today. Um, let's wait and see if we actually get some follow through after the open. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, similar situation nice bullish trend everything it seems to be coming up roses here for the market we have a nice breakout here looking strong and this morning we are looking at a spy gap up that's rather substantial moving up pretty strongly here in the spy so any rest consolidation in here sets up that next opportunity for entry and i think as long as we hold above this area we're in good shape once again be careful chasing into that morning open Open, just in case we only find some profit takers up there I'm not really holding my breath that we're gonna see a whole lot of profit taking as a matter of fact I'm kind of leaning toward the side that we finally cleared the deck here just a little bit markets breathing this big sigh of relief we could just see that nice little steady bullishness um, I'm I wouldn't expect it to be really huge big moves or anything like that but maybe just a little steady bullish push in through the end of the year we'll wait and see we do have a lot of news on the calendar this week let's take a look at the queues queues also moving up nicely and as you can see finish the day on friday stronger than the other uh, two indexes here pushing on up with a nice bullish candle new record highs were made in all three of the major indexes and holding above this little level of support right here is important notice that the nasdaq is pushing higher this morning we're looking to maybe even set new record highs here at the open on the nasdaq with that tech sector kind of leading us higher so something to keep an eye on 
looking really, really good here overall in the chart. Once again, be careful not to chase. And then IWM, IWM struggled a little bit on Friday, a bit of back and forth in here. But I gotta tell you, I think IWM overall, pretty decent looking chart here. And you may find a little bit of value here where IWM may try to do some catching up. We haven't made new record highs in IWM and it's possible this could try to do a little bit of catching up. So when you take a look at this chart, we kind of draw this up. We hold some support right across here. Holding in this area, if we can get some bullishness going, we may have that opportunity for more upside. And as you can see this morning, we're trying to lift just a teeny tiny little bit higher this morning um, at the open. Let's keep a close eye on that. So how about we take a look at the VIX? VIX did its job. Um, I, as you guys know, I've been kind of watching this level of resistance in here and watching this uh, downtrend and Friday, uh, well, I shouldn't just say Friday, the last few days of the market really rejected that spike in volatility, fear dropping out of the market significantly. And I would expect it's going to continue to drop out this morning a little bit unless we have some news that really changes that. But fear dropping out of the market, those big stumbling blocks, at least for the next few days, maybe even the next few weeks, maybe out of the way and pulling back here in the VIX. Very little fear. Um, in that chart so let's watch that close if we uh, do happen to find some support in here um, we could bounce up but please keep in mind that as we approach down in these areas we may reach a little bit of a complacency point in the chart and we'll just have to watch that closely but pushing down in here uh, there's very little to no fear in the market um, at the moment. Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122 is that four week new high, new low ratio. What's interesting is on T2122, we actually had a little bit of pullback here on Friday in this uh, rally. And what happened was we just had some key some key stocks pushing higher while other stocks pushed back down. And I think we still have a pretty good opportunity in here. Now, T2122 doesn't tell us which way the market's going to go. Um, what it does tell us, however, is that we have plenty of room in here in T2122 to reach on higher. So a nice move higher that continues to just grind up. We have plenty of upside for that. You don't want to ignore the fact that if we do slip or stumble, that there is also plenty of downside room here. So we've got the room to move up. And as long as we can avoid these big whippy moves that we've been seeing lately and get more into a steady little bullish move where we kind of grind higher, this could be just exactly what we're looking for here in the market. Let's watch that kind of close. Let's take a look and our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar may have some things on here to move this market around. If you take a look, we have Empire State Manufacturing here at 8.30 this morning. So first thing for the market opens, that will pop up. Shortly after market open, we're gonna get the PMI flash. And that has probably the biggest opportunity of moving the market around today. So let's keep an eye on that. We get the um, housing market index and then we get Treasury International here at 4 p.m. I don't, you know, housing certainly can always move the market around, but I kind of expect this won't have any effect at all. Probably the bigger number coming up um, in the next couple of days is going to be right here, those housing starts and then the industrial production on Tuesday. So we'll want to keep an eye on that economic calendar tomorrow, but um, we still have that opportunity for some market movers today. So watch that pretty closely. On the earnings calendar, we have 20 some companies reporting earnings, but the thing is none that are really particularly interesting or market moving or all that notable uh, today. So probably not a whole lot of incentive for the market to really move a lot um, based on earnings reports. We'll wanna keep an eye on them, but unlikely they will be 
very market moving at all. So with that, let's take a look at um, some stocks that are maybe setting up something that you might want to keep an eye on. But before we do that, if you guys don't mind and if this is the first time you've seen these videos could you do me a favor and click that subscribe button on youtube make sure you click that bell icon as well when it pops up so that you can be notified every time i post one of these videos you know the purpose of these videos are not to provide a whole bunch of hype or prediction in the market like you might see in other places but to really look at the technicals and look at the things that are affecting the market so you can have a better and Informed way of approaching the market for the day. If you find these videos helpful, if you could help me out by clicking that thumbs up button and also leaving a brief comment. Thank you to everyone who does do that. I try to answer just as many of them as I possibly can. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. Those help this channel to continue to grow and I thank you so much for everyone who does that. You guys are awesome. And I gotta tell you, pretty darn humbling comments at times so thank you thank you very much you guys are great let's take a look at a few stocks that may be setting up and a few things that I was looking through I look through a lot of stocks in fact I always do one of my processes is Sunday afternoon after I kind of get all of my um, work done around the house or things I need to do kind of wind down from the weekend I usually sit down with uh, with an iced tea glass of water coke or something like that and I just start going through a lot of charts and um, in that process I come through a lot of charts that are looking pretty darn good so let's take a look at a few of those charts that could be setting up now keep in mind every time I bring up a chart um, they're not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. They are meant as just part of the education and things that I do. If you find them useful, put them in a watch list. Watch these stocks, see if they fit you personally as a trade, and then maybe hop on in if that fits your trading style. Please keep in mind that I don't know anything about you. I don't know anything about your um your uh, trading your account anything like that so none of these are recommendations to buy or sell um, in your account without your evaluation so let's take a look at um, Procter & Gamble Procter & Gamble popping through now I've been keeping an eye on this what's interesting about P&G is we've had this rising low we've been pushing 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 to the upside here and we've been banging our head against this resistance friday we kind of popped on through there and held we we'll want to watch that pretty closely and as you can see this morning we're seeing just a little tiny bit of bullishness in procter and gamble now don't be too surprised if this has to rest a little bit more if this requires a little bit more consolidation in here moving back over to trend even a pullback back into this trend before it moves up nothing wrong with that um, in that chart so keep an eye on png may have some nice opportunity now one thing that's kind of interesting about that is this is a consumer defensive stock and it's interesting that i saw quite a few of those moving up this week um, or on friday so you might want to take note of that and take a look at some of those consumer defensives another place and you guys know that i've been talking about this one for a while and that is coca-cola now coke pretty interesting chart i've been drawing this downtrend right through here and the reason i have let me explain that for just a second i know some of you may want to draw that trend up here and there's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with doing that but i chose this level here and the reason i did is i'm kind of ignoring the wick on this candle i'm getting a nice touch here and here and here and here and then that really lined up with that potential bullish move. Connects up with this uptrend. And um, just for um, full disclosure, I'm actually holding this position in Coke. Had a very nice move on Friday. And as you can see, we're looking bullish this morning, trying to pop up here, maybe a little gap up. Now keep in mind, there are still some resistance levels in this chart that we have to deal with. Okay, right in through here. So we're trying to pop up into that area. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. But Coca-Cola looking pretty good overall. 
How about um, a chart in Visa? Visa showing a lot of strength here on Friday, popping up through this resistance area, as you can see, holding this upward trend, moving on up, trying to move through, breaking through this resistance. And if I pull this back, notice that we've got blue sky above here. Now we do have one more resistance level, as you can see, to deal with in this chart, and that's that big pop up here. So any kind of rest consolidation pullback over to this trend sets up that possible opportunity on higher in Visa. And by the way, MasterCard, MasterCard very much the same breaking out holding trend looking very very good here any rest consolidation or pullback could set up that opportunity and even AXP really trying to catch up here it's got a lot of catch up to do but as you can see AXP trying to move on up this was my alert into AXP and you can see two days of really nice pop um, move in that chart. So now we have to wait for a little rest or pullback, but AXP taking a nice move to the upside. Another place you might want to look is some of the gaming stocks, uh, and I'm not talking about computer gaming stocks, but I'm talking about casino stocks. Really strong moves here in the last few days, popping up hard. As you can see, uh, Las Vegas Sands breaking through some resistance here. We're going to have to see if it can hold, test up here. Any rest or pullback could set up an opportunity. But look to some of those casino stocks. They're looking pretty darn good um, overall. Take a look at NEE. Now this is one you guys know that I've mentioned a few times. NEE showing that possibility of that push on higher. And this is how I've kind of got it marked up. I do realize there's some resistance high in here that we still have to attack, but we're holding this nice trend. This is a nice little stepping pattern where we moved up, consolidate over, pop on higher, watch this resistance in the chart. But if the market is a little bit nervous or we start seeing uh, some of these um, sectors like defensive sectors come up, we may just see utilities starting to come up as well. And EE looking pretty good, looking pretty strong. And you've got to admit, if I change this to a weekly chart, it's pretty hard to deny this trend. It's a beautiful trend. Um, just moving to the upside and looking very good. So really good charts out there to be paying attention to. I saw all kinds of charts, all kinds of things that you may want to be keeping an eye on um, in the market. And as you guys know, I've been mentioning UNH. Um, UNH broke through. Let me go to this. Broke through that little alert. Looking good overall. Amgen. Amgen I've been mentioning breaking through holding that trend looking very very good to the upside and Showing strength here that looks good. Keep an eye on Amgen There's a lot of these stocks like that that look just pretty darn good things You might want to keep an eye on you guys know um, MLNX is one that I have repeated over and over and over to keep a close eye on well It finally made its move last Thursday pop through had a test of that support on friday and let's watch this in here for that next opportunity this may need a few more days of rest right in here could relax just a little bit but let's keep um keep this one on a list and pay attention to that because it's certainly possible with a little bit of rest this could start moving right on higher so mlnx looking really good overall so, hey guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And I know as you, um, this has been kind of an interesting year in the market with all of the political drama and everything going on. Unfortunately, I kind of believe that's likely co to continue. Remember, we're going to be heading into an election year. It's going to get in all likelihood it's going to get even goofier than it has been this last year so stay real focused to that price section of the chart make sure you're doing a good quality job of preparation for the day and you know just 
just know that if you're struggling as a trader, one of the things we have to do is go back and we have to get more dedicated to our trading business. And that means we have to have a trading plan. If you need some help with that, take a look at some of the videos here on uh, my YouTube channel. Lots of good information on how you can put together that trading plan. Get yourself more disciplined, more focused, and come be prepared for next year. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you all the best. We'll see you bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great one.